welcome everybody to another like Facebook Friday, right? For Lychee Friday. We've had like a full week of sun. I can't even believe like we have just had some beautiful, gorgeous, super cold, but sunny, sunny days. So isn't that lovely? I love the sun, especially this time of year because we don't get it enough, right? So we are playing with some fun, sunshiny products. They're not really sunshiny, but they like make me happy. So that makes me think of sunshine, right? So, um, oh yes, and that yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm like distracted. Um, okay, so let me tell you, what are we playing with? We have the Share a Milkshake. It's the bundle. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Anna. Thanks for joining. Hello, hello. Okay, so yes, the Share a Milkshake bundle. So this is such a cute stamp set. And the fun part is there's an awesome set of dies that go with it. But let me tell you some super cute sentiments. If you haven't seen this stamp set yet, or well, hello, Monica. Thanks for joining us. So we've got Life is sweeter with you, and the font is super cute on this, um, in the sentiments also. Bonnie, hello, welcome, and thanks for sharing. Um, we've got celebrate, so you could do like, um, well, I think it's kind of, it could either be like Valentine's or birthday. So I'm going to say celebrate is maybe more birthday. Philomena, hello, welcome, welcome. We've got you're the cherry on top. I think that one is super cute, right? So like life is sweeter with you. You're the cherry on top. Vina, hello. Thanks, guys. Everybody's popping on. I know I was like a minute or two late, so it's fun to see all these names scrolling on. So I apologize that um, if I was kind of holding you up, wondering what was going on. But we're here. We're here. And then the last one, the little be my Valentine, right? And then such cute like little millions milkshake imagery, right? But then it gets even better because there's this awesome set of dies that go with the stamp set. So <clears throat> you can see how many of the images can be die cut with the dies, right? So you could stamp them and then die cut them. Good morning, Vina. Um, but then also I had a lot of fun, um, even just like die cutting with some fun paper with these dies also. And this one, this totally cracks me up and makes me think. So I used to work at an ice cream store in college uh, called Stucci's and it was kind of, I didn't um, like do fraternity sorority stuff, well sorority, I guess. Um, but it was, I always thought of it kind of as my sorority because I met so many great friends um, and lifelong friends too through like scooping ice cream at Stucci's. So this totally reminds me of um, waffle cone making days. And let me tell you, the best part about a waffle cone is, you know, like any waffle that you make, that little bit that runs over the edge, right? And then it's like kind of partially cooked. So it's kind of doughy, but kind of cooked. <laughs> so we had would have lots and lots of fun, like scraping that off the edge because, you know, that didn't make a pretty uh, waffle cone, right? But those little bits on the edge, those were like our little treat to our ourselves. Sounds awful now when I think of like from a COVID standpoint, but um, yeah, back in the day, <laughs> we were definitely doing that. So yes, little waffle cone. And what is Monica saying? This is her next bundle. This is on her list. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, we're going to have lots and lots of fun as I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I admitted that, that I like used to eat the like little Maybe we put them in a dish or something, right? That's probably what we did. We didn't eat them like right off of the waffle cone maker, I hope. <laughs> anyway, that was a long time ago. So yes, anyway, but we're gonna be playing with the Share a Milkshake bundle today. Super duper cute, you're gonna love it. And I paired it with some other fun products too. So we're gonna have lots and lots of fun with that. Um, okay, I gotta scoot it out of the way. I've got so much to show you guys and I'm trying not to like, <clears throat> set stuff on top of each other so I can get to it easily. We'll see how that goes, right? So, okay, the other fun thing, Stampin' Up! announced that we have more to celebrate, more items that you can get for free during celebration. So I printed off this flyer to kind of show you, um, and I'll kind of go through it too. So let's see, it looks like there are nine new items that you can get for free with a $50 order, and then there's one item, which is amazing, that you can get for free with a $100 order. So there are a couple of card kits, and uh, let me back up too. I still need to email about this, but I did post right here to our Facebook group. So there's a link, um, and, and I think I even titled it, you know, More to Celebrate. So um, check that out. It's going to be in the last day or two that I posted that right here to our Facebook group. But again, like I said, there's a link that you can click on, and it'll pull up each of these items also. Or if you go to stampinup.com, now once you order, um, these items will populate in free items with either a 50 
$50 or $100 order, but I wanted to tell you about them too, because they've got a cute, there's a kindness card kit. So that's one it's not even in the catalog. Um, all of our kits are available online now. So kindness card kit, um, the Let's Party Treat Packaging Kit, those are super cute. And then some of the, of the white frayed ribbon, that's the kind of, I guess it's three quarters of an inch, so it's a little bit wider. Um, and it's, I don't know, it, it's, it does kind of fray. It's got a, like a cool texture to it. There's the Essential Tag Punch and the Songbird Builder Punch. And you know what I'm going to do? When we flip the camera down, I'll show this again so you guys can see them. Because if I show them right now, they're pretty small and they're like backwards too. Um, there's the Into the Clouds Embossing Folder you can also get for free. The Hive 3D Embossing Folder. Loveliest Layers Decorative Max, Masks and Enjoy the Journey 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. I think most of those other than those kits are in our annual catalog. So you can see them, you know, if you have the catalog as well. And then, so those are all the nine items you can get for free with a $50 order. And then they're including the Eden's Garden Bundle, which is a stamp set and dies you can get for free with a $100 order. So, wow, that is awesome. Like that's probably, I mean, the value of that bundle alone has got to be at least 50 some dollars. So you can get $50 for free with a $100 order. And then um, any of these other items also free with a $50 order. Or if you spend $100, you can get two of those. So yes, um, like I said, I've posted the link. I'll be emailing about it and I'll share that again when we flip the camera down in a sec, okay? So, <clears throat> all right. I think we're ready. I um, kind of changed up how I was doing things. So I'm like trying to make sure that I stay on track, which is not always easy for me. But we're gonna do our first drawing, okay? So names are in here. If you shared our last Facebook Live video or if you just signed up for my email list for the first time, the link to do that is always in the details about this Facebook Live video. Um, what are we gonna give away? Let's talk about that. Oh yes, just in time for kind of Valentine's Day treats. I'll get these mailed out or put out on the porch ASAP so you can have these cute little opaque gems um, to play with. They come in like, I think this is white, fresh freesia. I'm gonna say uh, maybe sweet sorbet or melon mambo and then gorgeous grapes. So super cute, love. They're like kind of a faceted gem, but then with the color on them too. Yes, they're called opaque adhesive back gems. Okay, so names are in the drawing. I always appreciate your shares. Make sure you share this video right here anytime between now and our next Facebook Live video. And your name will go in the drawing in a sec. I'll show you what we're gonna draw for next Facebook Live. Okay, in the meantime, let's see. We have one, nope, I have two in my hand. Okay, no, I have one in my hand. Miss Pam Simmons. All right, congratulations, Pam. I will get these opaque gems mailed out to you so you can enjoy them. Uh, so congratulations, Miss Pam. All right, I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. Let's see, where am I putting things? Again, I'm like already piling stuff on top of each other. It's not good, it's not good, ladies. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, these are called the enamel dot essentials and i've got to i'm gonna have to open them up because i think there's another color hiding underneath here but i'm not totally sure yeah okay so they're white so they're they're um kind of basic neutral but i think that they're going to be very versatile very useful as well so we've got some i'm going to say white crumb crepe crumb cake and night of navy are the different colors on there and they've got obviously some small ones and some large ones in each of those colors so an awesome set of enamel dots that we'll give away on our next facebook live these are new this is one of our new embellishments from the uh, mini catalog okay so we'll give those away on our next facebook live all right let's get those right over there <clears throat> okay mm, all right now now this is where i switched my order of things so i got to make sure i <laughs> where where's the first item okay we did that we did that oh okay <laughs> now all right i'm back on track so we actually uh, wanted to welcome a new inspired stampers team member she took advantage of the awesome starter kit deal i'll tell you guys about that again in just a moment but i want to congratulate congratulate fawn wright on getting the stampin up starter kit through one of my team members she bought that through sunday ostrander so sunday got a new team member as well during celebration and fawn took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal so hello luann welcome thanks for joining us and then as well we had a promotion miss 
Trish Hall, which is one of our Inspired Stampers team members, just became a qualified team member. Let me tell you how you do that. So after you get the starter kit, when you have $900 in sales, then you become a qualified team member. And I actually love to congratulate people for making all of these milestones. So she will receive a $25 shopping spree from me, whatever she wants, um, and I'll get that to her. So congratulations to Miss Trish Hall. She's also, that means, halfway to getting to a bronze elite promotion which is at eighteen hundred dollars in rolling 12 month sales and that's when she gets an additional five percent discount or income on her orders so instead of a 20 percent discount that's what you start with when you buy the starter kit she will get a 25 percent discount again when she promotes to bronze elite so she's halfway there so keep working miss trish you can do it uh, so yes, congratulations to both Fawn and Trish, right? So I thought, let's make sure you guys know all about the starter kit deal. So if you've kind of been wavering, wondering, trying to decide, should I do it or not? If you want this super cute little, and I have to like hold it up, because look, it's like, it's not heavy at all. So it's a super cute little stamp and cut and emboss machine. And you can see how the little platforms just kind of flip down. So just like our large one, but this is like a little baby one. It's so cute. It's like, like snuggly almost, right? Okay, so you can get this. I call this classic white, or there's a boho blue, which is a super beautiful kind of a... Mm, kind of a faded brushed bluish gray, I would say, but it's actually brighter. I always, I keep saying that, but when I saw it in person, um, one of our Inspired Stampers team members brought her boho blue mini cotton emboss machine to our last team meeting. So we got to see it. It was actually like, uh, like kind of a little bit brighter blue than I expected it to be. So it's beautiful though. So kind of, kind of a dusty, but brighter blue as well. So anyway, okay. So you can pick from this mini cotton emboss machine or the boho blue mini cut and emboss machine you also get to pick hundred and seventy five dollars in product this is like a no-brainer because I think that little guy alone is like 63 64 65 dollars plus tax and shipping so but did I I think I did figure that out nope maybe oh I pulled the wrong flyer let me see let me see did I say that yeah it's based no I didn't. I love to be able to tell you how much you get for free. But if you were to add up, so say you put an order in for that mini cotton emboss, emboss machine plus $175 in product, plus you had to pay the 11% shipping fee and the 6% sales tax if you're here in Michigan, total that all up, it's way more than what you pay for the starter kit, which is only $129. The shipping fee of 11% is waived. You just pay sales tax. So $129 plus sales tax in your state and you get the boho blue or classic white mini cut and emboss machine and $175 in product. It is truly a no brainer right now. So if you're interested at all, we have um, lots of great team members, a part of our Inspired Stampers group. I'd be happy to share more about that. You can do as much or as little as you want to. Most people just buy the starter kit because they love what they love the product, they wanna get the awesome deal, and then they wanna use that 20% discount to order more fun stuff to play with. That you can you can do, like I said, you can do whatever you want. If you want to do more than that, I'm here to help and support you in doing, you know, if you just wanna have like a little party or a class with your friends, I can help you figure out how to do that also. If you wanna turn it into a business, I can help you with that also. But there are all different levels. And like I said, most people just get the starter kit to get the deal and the discount, which is totally, totally fine. Because I'll have people say, but I, you know, I'm sorry, I don't want to do classes or be a demonst be a demonstrator. Well, everyone is technically a demonstrator because that's what we're all called once we buy the starter kit. But you don't have to do any demonstrating. You don't have to do Facebook Lives. They're scary for a lot of people. They're still scary for me. But actually, I kind of love them now. So I've been doing them. I think I figured out this is probably I'm uh, beginning of my sixth year that I've been doing Facebook Lives. So I've been doing these for a long time now too. But I can help you figure out how to do a Facebook Live if you'd want to. They're actually really simple and you just have to kind of do your own thing and be yourself, right? So anyway, I kind of digress, but awesome starter kit deal. If you don't want or don't think you need one of those mini cotton emboss machines, you can still pick $175 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Again, that shipping fee is waived. So it's an awesome, awesome deal. If you're interested, if you want more information, please let me know. I'm here to help and support you and answer any questions that you have, okay? Um, did I jump around? I probably did. Oh, well, I think I'm doing all right. So 
<clears throat> with that being said, I am accumulating a few of these scenic garden stamp sets. And I thought, you know, what am I going to do with all of these? So this is my plan. So in the month of February, if you buy the starter kit through me, or if you spend $100 with or through me online, however, um, but honestly, you might as well get the starter kit. If you're going to spend $100, you might as well do that rather than spending. But if you don't want to, so either get the starter kit, sorry, I'm always all over the place, or spend $100 through me, your name is going to go into a drawing to win my scenic garden stamp sets. As many stamp sets as I have, I will give away. We'll do that on our first Facebook Live in March then, okay? So this is a beautiful stamp set too, lots of detail. And you could color this in and go crazy with it, or I've seen um, a great example um, where you can just color um, like one of the you know ink the whole stamp and then grab your stamp and write marker and then kind of color over maybe in this case you'd kind of color over the greens on there also so there you can keep it simple or you can make it more detailed and complicated but it's a beautiful stamp set and again I'd love to get these in your hands as well if you buy the starter kit or spend hundred dollars through me during uh, well in February basically okay all right, okay, I think I'm doing a good job, but I don't have anywhere to put stuff. <laughs> I'm still, okay, it's all right. I'm trying to be really organized. You guys know me. I try that, but it's, it's sometimes not so easy, okay? All right, so in addition to that new promotion that I have for um, February with those scenic garden stamp sets, we've also had something fun going on called celebration, celebration, and qualifying for that. So this is how you earn your spot. And and I wanna make sure it's clear too, if you're a long distance friend, uh, you can still earn your spot at celebration, celebration. I'll just put everything together for you. I'll send you your treats, um, your prizes, uh, your make and takes, I'll put those together and I'll mail everything to you. So I wanna make sure that long distance friends know that they can be a part of celebration, celebration. I wish, I would love for you to be able to come to the event as well. And if you wanna do a road trip, more than happy to have you come hang out with us. We are, I think it's Saturday, March 18th is what I've come up with as the date for this but I didn't write it on here, so I'm gonna verify that. But here, this is how you earn your spot into the celebration celebration event. If you host a private, excuse me, a private party or class uh, through me, we can do that right down at the church here locally. Uh, we could even do it online if you're interested in doing that. If you buy the starter kit through me, or if you spend $150 during celebration, so all of January and February. And it's basically just a fun event where I'm gonna spoil you with snacks and treats and specials, buy one, get one free. Hopefully I'll have some sneak peeks of new catalog product. We'll do stamping and make and takes. they will give you like little gifts. We'll have games and prizes, and it's just a really nice, fun afternoon. Um, a fun way to say thank you for your support of my Stampin' Up! business during celebration. And with that being said, I want to announce I've got a couple of people that have already earned their spot at the celebration celebration. So I want to congratulate Rose Castellan, Teresa Hinchman, Deb Northrup, Monica Talbot, and Roseanne Lafreniere have all earned their spot at the Celebration Celebration. You still have the entire month of February to earn your spot as well. So I'd love for you to be able to do that too. So if you have any questions on that, please let me know, okay? All right. <clears throat> Doo -doo -doo -doo. We are, okay, you guys are probably gonna laugh at me, but I over ordered and I'm kind of freaking out. And so I'm like asking for help, help me, help me please on my designer series paper share orders. I literally ordered an entire, like this is four people. So all the packs of paper, I ordered like four, well, four shares too many. So one more pack of everything that I needed and I already cut it all. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did this. So basically I'm like saying, please, 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 if you are even thinking about getting a paper share, I would love for you to do that through me. They are $50 um, and you get, I mean, okay, so look at this huge pack of paper that you got all of this beautiful paper, okay, right? So we've got a bunch of, I'll just kind of fan it out, but this is this is all of the six by six paper. So this is 
a quarter of a pack of all of the designer series paper in the mini catalog and in the celebration brochures and then here this is all of the six by 12 you guys like look at this okay seriously so much goodness in there i give you free the celebration paper a sampling of that the host designer series paper that's in the mini catalog that's what that is sorry that kind of flipped quickly but anyway please 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 i know that i can find four more people to get one of these paper shares i have them here all ready to go i would love for you to order one of these because I'm just so mad at myself that I cut everything because I could have sold full packs if I had realized, but I cut it all and then I was like, oh my gosh, I totally over ordered and over cut. So please, if you have any interest at all in getting a designer series paper share, they're here, they're ready to go, $50 and it's yours, okay? So just, you can post in the comments here, you can email me. However, just let me know when you're ready to get one of these paper shares. And if you do it, then I won't have to keep mentioning it on every single Facebook Live because I got to get rid of these things, okay? <laughs> please, please, please. Thank you. All right. Um, we are... Okay. Oh, and so actually, um, I was going to give away the best day stamp set with an online order um, from our last Facebook Live, but I didn't have any online orders um, between our last Facebook Live and now. So no drawing today, but I thought, okay... I just think this stamp set is so stinking cute. So I'm gonna put it out there to give this away again on our next Facebook Live. Like look at, I mean, and I'm not even a cat person, but I just think that fat cat popping up out of the um, little cupcake is so cute. And I should preface that with, I'm not a cat person because I'm allergic to cats. It's not that I don't love cats, but um, I don't love what they do to me. So I kind of, I love them from a distance, but if I touch them, then my eyes get all red and puffy and watery and sneezy and you know, all that not goodness. So anyway, my sister and my dad both have cats too. So I'm around them. I just have to be like, hey kitties from like over there, right? <laughs> so anyway, okay, so best day stamp set. We're gonna give this away with an online order of at least $50. Uh, your name will go in the drawing to win the best day stamp set, okay? Some fun sentiments, right? Like it's the best birthday because it's your birthday, right? Happy birthday, it's all about you. And uh, I love this, wishing you all the wishes. So, so cute, okay? So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, okay? All right, mm, I think, I think we're ready, guys. Okay, I'm gonna move this right here. Okay, so we're gonna flip the camera down. I have a new host code. I'll share that with you guys in just a moment, but turn your heads away. We're flying through the air and I have more good stuff to share with you guys. Okay. Oops. There, okay. Does that look good? I think we're okay. We're gonna flip it. See what does it look like? Okay, good, all right. And we might be okay. Um, I was a little worried about a glare right now, but I think we're doing okay so far. So this is our new host code for February. U-W-N-Y-7-W-Q-X. So that's what you'll wanna use when you order through me to get your name in the drawing to win that best day stamp set, okay? $50 order gets your name in that drawing. Um, Oh, okay, so I have to show you guys. We made scrapbook pages, and oh, I wish, okay, I'm trying to think of the name of, so I found a new Facebook group. I think it's called, it's it's something like um, Scrap, oh, it's got Stampin' Up and Scrapbooking in the name, maybe like Scrapbooking Global Stampin' Up, but it is awesome, you guys. So I can't take credit for my scrapbook pages that we made at class. Um, that was just this week, wasn't it? Um, but I, I have to share them with you guys because I love them. So Rosemary Coleman um, designed these pages and I modified them a little bit, but I found them, like I said, on that Facebook group. You guys can, can you see? I almost see all of them, right? Well, here, I'll show you one. So we're using the little owl, right? So the let me show you guys the adorable owl stamp set we are using. And then actually this designer series paper is the back side of, and I use that on Facebook Live. 
not too long ago, but that favored flower. So the pretty, I think it's pretty busy, that paper there, right? Rosa, hello, welcome, welcome. And thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like those pages. Um, Janina, hello, welcome. So yes, yeah, so one side is very florally, and then the other side, I am excited to make masculine cards with this particular pattern of designer series paper also. So again, there we go. You guys can see that cute little owl, right? So there's one page right and then here's the other page and if you didn't see like there's that designer series paper and there's another cute little owl <laughs> so so cute right hoot hoot you're so cute so those pages and then as well i found these pages on that um, Facebook group too. And again, I modified them a little bit um, because I really wanted to use this beautifully happy stamp set, which actually back to, so the owls and that other favorite flowers designer series paper. Kathy, hello, thank you, thank you. Um, those are both free with a $50 order. Um, but this, mm, where are we looking at? Not Scenic Garden. Oh, did I flip? It's right here, the Beautifully Happy. So this stamp set with the You Are Easy to Love and those pretty flowers, uh, those are part of the Beautifully Happy stamp set, free with a $100 order during celebration. Like trying to see, I think, tell me if it's too much of a glare, guys, because I am having, <laughs> as I'm looking down, I'm having a little bit of a hard time reading. And I'm going back through the messages too because I thought I missed something. Oh, Janina, Janina, excuse me, Janina. I'm trying to say your name too fast. Uh, thank you for, or you're welcome for the happy mail. And then Miss Kathy, so glad you guys are on here. <laughs> okay, so it's not too much of a glare. Good, okay. Um, so yes, so beautifully happy stamp set used right there and there. And then this is some of the, is it Dainty Flowers? Yes, the Dainty Flowers designer series paper is what I use right here, 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 those through there, and then that right there. So I'll give you kind of a close-up of those pages, but aren't those beautiful? So we actually make three pages. So we made the two pages that I just showed you and this page this month, and then next month we'll make the second half, so we'll make this page, and then two more pages yet to be designed. And then I think I maybe showed you guys these, but I think they're so cute that I have to make sure, and in case I didn't, I'll show them to you again, because these were super duper simple pages featuring the Day at the Farm designer series paper. So this paper right here, free with a $50 order during celebration. So aren't these, I just think, like so cute. And I live in a pretty rural area. So there are lots of farms, maybe not quite as cute as these because we don't have many hills in our Gratiot County. That's for sure. It's like the least hilliest county, I think, in Michigan. <laughs> anyway, so pretty flat, but lots of corn, lots of lots of cows and animals and farms uh, and chickens and lots of windmills too, actually. They're not as cute as those either though, unfortunately. But yes, good for the environment, right? So yes, so lots of fun scrapbook pages for you guys there featuring lots of celebration products. So if you're, you know, thinking, oh, should I, shouldn't I just do it? Get whatever you need, all those basics that you need. I always say, you know, basics like cardstock, envelopes, adhesives, order those now during celebration so you can get free stuff too, right? Might as well. Okay. Let's see. Oh, all right. So I also want to show you guys, we played bingo. That was at the end of, <laughs> oh, let's see. All right, I'm seeing more um, comments. Okay, good. Yes, all right. You guys are all just chatting um, kind of amongst yourselves too. Okay, oh, yes, we played bingo. It was mm, like a week or so ago. Um, yeah, was it just last Thursday? Is that even possible? Maybe, I don't know. My All the dates and so on are just such a blur. Like life is a blur, right? But anyway, so when we played bingo, at the end of January, we made a couple of uh, make and take projects. So this was one of the uh, cards that we made with that um, stamp set that I used, the Something Fancy stamp set and dies from, I used those on our, my class to go this month. And I love that, just that sentiment that says, nothing fancy, just love. And then we stamped on the inside of it too with that beautiful, uh, that's the two-tone flora stamp set. And then some of that designer series paper that coordinates with that suite too. So this was one of the make and takes that we made. I cased this, it's kind of loosely cased from a card that Erica Sirwin made at Pink Buckaroo Designs. 
And then, you know, I'm a pretty good caser, let me tell you. So then this one, and this is really why I wanted to show you the make and takes, because this features that Share a Milkshake stamp set. This card I found on Pinterest. Um, <clears throat> Denise Cox actually designed this card, and I thought it was so cute. And you guys have to see that little slit right there, so then you can stamp and die cut. And I will tell you, there was a little bit of trouble I think it was kind of my die cutting machine, to be honest. I have one of my old magnetic plates there, and every time we laid the little die, because you guys can see, right? It's this little die right here. It would like wing off, you know, you'd put it on the paper exactly where you needed it and it would like move. So anyway, I know it was a little bit frustrating, but actually what I figured out also, if you don't want to stamp it, so there's that cute little stamp, right? You could just cut it out of regular cardstock or designer series paper and it's still super cute. And then you don't have to worry about lining it up. So there are kind of some workarounds if things are being a little futsy for you. But yes, yeah, so this stamp set and dies are what were used to create this super fun share a milkshake card and so I wanted to make sure to share that with you again this was a make and take that we made at bingo at the end of January it was okay um all right let's see let's see anything else I think we are ready to do our stamping ladies okay let me find flip that little die cutting machine flip that guy up I need my grid paper. Oh, that's right. I knew there was something else I was gonna do. So let me, I have that flyer right here too. So these are all the new items that you can get during celebration. Okay, so if I kind of like bring that right up to the camera, you can kind of see. So there's a kindness cards kit, um, a let's party treat packaging kit. There's that white frayed ribbon, the essential tag punch, the songbird builder punch, and then the Into the Clouds embossing folder. And these are all free with $50 order, right? The Hive embossing folder, Loveliest Layers Decorative Masks, and Enjoy the Journey Designer Series Paper. And then lastly, that Mac Daddy spent $100, and you can get that Eden's Garden Bundle for free. Oh, <laughs> okay, good. Janina, she's referencing, she's making a comment that they were laughing so hard because this these dies kept moving on her. I'm glad you were laughing because I thought people got really frustrated and I'm like, well, that didn't really help sell this die set at all. Um, so I'm glad you guys had a great time and it wasn't driving you crazy. So, and I'm still, I got to make one of these. Like I'm going to want to eat a waffle cone after I do that though. <laughs> one of those little bits there. Okay, so. All right, here we go, ladies. We are ready. Okay, so I kind of was thinking um, Valentine theme for these projects. Um, and But I do want to say, because obviously we're getting pretty close to Valentine's Day, right? That if you've already got your Valentine's Day projects figured out, I think they'd be great like for a birthday card or project as well. Okay. Um, let me... Actually, I forgot. I'm going to... No, I'm going to show you that in a sec. Okay. I'm like looking around at my stuff here. Okay, so we're gonna do, yes, we're gonna do this card first. So we've got, and this is kind of a fun, it just lifts out of there. Oops, did I, do I have that in view? Right, so we've got this, life is sweeter with you, right? And then this super cute, so this is what I thought was kind of fun, was just um, using the designer series paper and the dies to make that little milkshake. Isn't that so cute, right? Okay, so let's show you. Um, I am going to show you because I'm afraid I'm going to forget later, even though it's like taking up half my table, so I don't know how I could. But this is um, the designer series paper that we used. Is it called, is this the country floral? Now I've got to look it up and see. So it's part of kind of this first, yeah, the country floral lane. Okay, so yes, it's the Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. And then I'm also going to show you this Country Gingham because we used both of these Designer Series papers on this project. You got to leave that right there. Okay, so I have only a little teeny tiny piece because I've used a much of this paper, and I'll show you where in a moment on our next project. But so that's kind of front and back of what little I have of that piece. And then here are the other five front and back, right? So I guess I can lay that on there, right? So that's one side. And then here is the other side of all of these, right? So then we've got some kind of hearts, but then they're just some other, you know, they, they're hearts, but I think they'd be great like for baby cards too. These little, those right there, this is a fun stripe also. So super cute pack of Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. And that's 
what this and this are from. And then these guys are actually from that Gingham Designer Series paper. So let me show you guys this paper. Did I pull it? I think I was trying to kind of spread it out so you guys could see. So this one is right there and then this one is on the back side. So you guys can kind of see all of these, right? Aren't those so cute? Love this pack of paper too. And then here's the back side. So they've got two more colors with the mint and the balm, mint macaron and balmy blue. And we used that one right there on the top of our milkshake. So super cute little six by six pack of paper there also. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we got the dies right here. Okay, I think we're good to go. Okay, so let me tell you if that's one I need or not. It kind of went flying, but okay, we'll keep that out here just in case. Okay, so we are going to start. It's a regular card. Well, you can't even, I can't even open this one up, but you can kind of get the idea, right? This is a piece of sweet sorbet, full sheet of cardstock, right? Eight and a half by 11, excuse me. Okay, so maybe we'll pull that down there, right? So there's your 11 inch side. So we cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then we scored it like we normally do at along the eight and a half inch side. I'm gonna flip it this way because that's easier for me. <laughs> we scored it at one and a half and four and a quarters, okay? So one and a half and four and a quarter. So it goes like this and then like that. So that's how that's gonna work, okay? Then we have a couple of strips of designer series paper. This one goes right there. This one measures the one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this one is the same size at one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So that's gonna go there. And that's gonna go right there, right? Then on the inside, these are our little pieces that we're gonna use. Ooh, I need another circle, don't I? I'm just seeing like, oh no. Yep, I do. Okay, I'll grab that in a sec. So this is a uh, petal pink cardstock, four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then basic white, four and a half by three and a half. So those are gonna layer on there and that's the little piece that goes inside. These are all my other little pieces to do this, but I realized I don't have a white piece. Do I? Let's see, maybe that's this one right here. There we go. Okay, now I'm good. Say, so I thought I had everything I needed. All right, quick sip of water here. It's that time of year, right, when your throat gets so dry? Okay, so there's very little stamping. All I did was stamp in the top right corner of this basic white piece. So let's do that, and then we can do all of our die cutting, okay? So we've got our Sweet Sorbet ink, and we're going to stamp, Life is sweeter with you. There's just something about this. This stamp, this font, it's so cute. Like, I wish I could write like that. Don't you guys wish you could write like that? It'd be way better than <laughs> my handwriting, that's for sure. It's gotten so much worse over the years, too, unfortunately. The only kind of cool thing is um, I have friends of my mom tell me that my handwriting looks like hers. And she has been gone, if you guys can believe this, I like just kind of did the math on this. She's, she'll be have, have been gone for like 20 years in August. So things like that, when people tell you, you know, that like something of you reminds them of my mom, that's like a really special thing to me. Um, so yeah, it kind of just keeps her around, right? Okay, so let's see, we have... Um, what are we going to do? Let's just see if we can get everything on here, right? Um, so we have layering circle dies. Okay, let's see. I think it's the biggest two, but let's, yeah, it definitely is. So the biggest scallop edge and the biggest straight edge of the layering circle dies are what we're going to use. So we've got this one. Yeah, this is what's happening, right? Okay. And then this one, and then I think I can probably put everything else on the other side. Let's see if we can do this, right? So we've got all these little pieces of designer series paper and cardstock, I guess. Okay, so from here, we are going to use this one is going to go on that kind of petal pink. Then we have this little guy is going to go on that mint, and then we've got our cherry and then this little guy, and you'll see what I'm talking about on there in a sec, probably. Okay, so let's just get everything lined up. These, we just want to make sure that's straight. We don't want to have, like, crooked 
there that's fine and then these we just need to get on the cardstock and that's about it so this is the one that's yeah see he's just kind of a little he's like a little stinker right like a little kid just a little stinker sometimes <laughs> and i definitely had little stinkers of kids too so i can say that very legitimately and honestly my kids were yeah they were good for the most part, but they could be stinkers, right? Like probably most everybody's kids. Okay, look at how cute that is. Okay, that is seriously, I feel like it's glaring. I'm gonna, let's see if we carefully, let's see if we can get away. Probably gets worse before it gets better, doesn't it? <laughs> now, yeah, I, now I have like a million like shadows, don't I? Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm just like literally sliding my table around on the dining room floor. But I try to do it kind of slow, so hopefully I don't make too many scratches. <laughs> Let's see. There. Okay. I feel like I can see better. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't bothering you guys, but it was kind of driving me crazy. Okay, so there's our little scallop edge circle and our straight edge circle. So those are just going to layer right on top of each other. Okay. There. Okay, and then, okay, look at this cute. So it looks like clouds or the top of a milkshake. And then it's got that little, I call it like a little divot, right? Where you can put your straw. Okay. And then here's our little straw, our little petal pink straw. So cute. And our little cherry too. Right there we go. Okay. So all of those there. That. Oh, here's this. It went flying, didn't it? Okay. I think we're good. All right, we're gonna scoot this little baby out of the way. Okay, I think we are ready to put things together. Okay, so we'll just do, we're gonna put this. So when this happens, guys, don't keep trying to just push on it to make it um, have adhesive. You have to roll it forward with your finger, okay? And then run it and tip it back, run it and tip it back and run it and tip it back. And if you do that, generally things work out well for you. Okay, so that's going to go on the inside. Now, ooh, did I bring that? I think I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, so I am going to, well, let's do these first. Scoot that out of the way for a sec. Okay, so we're going to add this adhesive to the top flap of our card. So this is going to go right along like that, right? And then we're going to add some more adhesive to these stripes and I was really trying to make this pattern work <laughs> I'm like reading your comment Robin <laughs> every time I am stamping she says I hear you in my head run it tip it back <laughs> well that's good okay at least well at least I'm helping somehow right okay run it and tip it back that's so funny <laughs> okay so yeah I think I was starting to say I was gonna I wanted to use the back side of that but the hearts were too big so I ended up with the stripes and I'm actually really happy with it because I think it would have been too busy um, to have the hearts and like this pattern too so anyway it all worked out the way it was supposed to but I'm still laughing about your comment Robin okay so now because we really want to make sure that this thing stays sealed tight we're gonna use our seal plus and we're gonna I want to use my silicone mat because I'm gonna I don't want to get too far over because then this thing won't be able to slide in and out easily so I just want to go right along the edge and I'm gonna do it on my um, my silicone mat so if it goes over the edge it won't really stick to anything okay so once I do that if it's kind of over the edge I'm just gonna roll it so that it's not over the edge anymore okay and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side so we're just gonna run, I think I'll get a little bit more up there. There, okay, so it kind of went over the edge again. So I'm just gonna fold it. Let me put my glasses on, where are they? I thought I had them on the top of my head. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you when you go to reach for your glasses and they're not there? Okay, so that looks good. And I'm gonna roll that up. Just cause I don't want it hanging off the edge, right? Okay, so now, we are gonna fold that in and that in. We're gonna press very, very firmly. And then same thing, this one, we're gonna run this and then we're gonna flip that back down. Okay, so I'm gonna press firmly on there and there. And then this piece just slips. Sorry, everything's like going sideways. 
this slips right inside there like that, right? With this, life is sweeter with you, okay? And then we are going to add the rest of our pieces here. Okay, we're gonna scoot this over. Let's put this, we wanna just put some adhesive on a few of these things, right? Okay, so we're gonna put adhesive on this guy and actually on this one too, right? Run it and tip it back. Now I wanna say it all the time too, Robin. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put our circle there. We're gonna add our little milkshake right there. Oop, I need to grab dimensionals. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now because I wanna put a dimensional dimensionals behind that guy. So one sec, I'll be right back with my dimensionals. Edge of the ed, the edge, the edge, and the end of my dimensionals. You guys use all of your dimensionals, though, don't you? I love to use these edges, especially because sometimes I want like a longer, longer, skinnier something. So that works perfectly for that right there. And I didn't even plan that. I wish I could say I did, but I didn't. Okay, so now we are going to just put a little bit of adhesive right on the top of this because I want to lift. Oops get that off of there. We kind of want to lift this little divot up. Oh, it's so much easier when I did it, not on Facebook Live. I'm trying to, maybe I had fingernails when I did it. There, kind of lift that up. Don't put it through too far because then it sticks out, right? So you're going to go just, and then you're going to press because you put adhesive on the inside of that. And then we're going to add a little bit of adhesive to our cherry. And again, working on this mat ensures that you don't get adhesive all over everywhere else that you don't want it, right? Okay, so now I'm actually going to put adhesive right on this right here and maybe along the bottom because I don't want to I don't want to go too far up there either and I want to get this placed. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done. See how simple but so cute this card is, right? So we have one more little step to go. Where are my, didn't I, oh yeah, they're right here. Okay, no, I brought these. These are the in color, the 2022-2024 in color matte decorative dots. So we are going to just add a few of these little babies. We're gonna maybe, it's almost like there's a, put a little sprinkle on there and then just add a couple of different, we're gonna maybe put one right there and I kind of like using the different shades so they're not all the same right and then maybe this one over there and there we go right so how about that life is sweeter with you cute and easy yes exactly Miss Vita and thank you Philomena I know it's so cute right and then this so yeah I might have gone a little bit over the edge still um, but that should just kind of slide right in and out and then you can write your sentiment right on there okay so there's our first project right now, actually, I'll put this one over here. Okay, so actually, let's clean this too so I can get this out of the way with our little chamois. Okay, clean that, buddy. Okay, so our next project, I'm going to share, first of all, this was the treat that I made for everybody at Bingo, right? So this little box, love this little box. I actually put, um, I went to um, a little local like downtown sweet shop uh, called, well, it used to be called Carolyn's Cakes, but now Cindy bought it. So it's Cindy Lou's Sweet Creations. And I love these things. So she has, she gets Oreos, double stuff Oreos maybe. And then she covers them in either white chocolate or milk chocolate and then decorates them. So these were kind of decorated for Valentine's. And so I put some little shreddy in the box and then put one of those little, um, um, what was I calling them? <laughs> Oreos, the Oreos inside too. They're so cute. So anyway, that, and uh, you could have put probably a couple in here too, um, but I just added the shreddy for a little bit of um, fun effect too. But anyway, I thought, you know, I, I thought I should probably make a video on how to make these boxes. And I haven't been making videos much lately, but I'm like, I do do Facebook Live. So I thought I would just show you guys how I make these boxes right on Facebook Live. So this is, like I said, the one that everybody received at Bingo. And that's why that paper, I only had a little, 
this little strip of it left because I've used the rest of it on um, these little treat boxes. But you can see it's just like a little square treat box, right? With a cute little tag that says kindness matters. This is from that beautifully happy celebration stamp set. But let me show you. So today, this is what we're actually going to demonstrate is a little Valentine treat box, right? That says, be my Valentine. And then with those cute little hearts there also with more of that Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. So if you've ever wondered how to make a box, these are so easy. You can make them in any size that you need them. Obviously, up until the size of your cardstock, you know, won't fit any longer. But I brought my scoring plates. I want to show you guys grabbing that. I want to show you exactly kind of step by step how to do this. So then when somebody asks me, oh, that box is so cute. How do you make that? Then I can refer them back to this Facebook Live also, which is another part of my grand plan, right? Okay. So for this box, we have petal pink cardstock and it measures six and a half by 11 inches. Hello, Miss Diane. Thanks for joining us. Okay. So six and a half by 11 piece of uh, petal pink cardstock. Along the six and a half inch side, we're going to score it at one and a half inches and at five inches. Okay, then we're going to flip it. And along this 11 inch side, we're going to score it at one and a half, at four and three quarters, at six and one quarter, and at nine and a half. Okay, so that's that's kind of step one, right? Super easy to make these boxes. And I love that scoring plate too. And I always, there's always a moment when I think, ooh, I have to remind you guys, I will include all of the names of everything that we're using on these projects, the item codes, um, colors, dimensions, all of that on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. That'll be uploaded this afternoon for you. Okay, so you can see, as I was talking, I was just kind of folding along all the score lines. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to cut up on each of these sides along these score lines up to this long intersecting score mark, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. We're just gonna cut up along each of these. And I'm actually going to then flip those things in. And it's this um, just makes the box close a little bit easier if you cut those kind of at an angle, just that little bit there, okay? So we're going to do that one, and that one, and then one more. And these don't have to be perfect because they all go on the inside of your card, so you're not really even going to see them. So same thing over here. We're going to cut up along each of our score lines, and then we're going to kind of cut them at a diagonal to make the box easier to fold in. You don't have to do this. What I found was in some cases when you fold the box in, like this little piece sticks up a little bit above the edge. So it doesn't really bother me, but I thought, okay, I'm going to show you guys that extra step. And you can do this if you want or not. So either way, I think it's not really a big deal because people are more excited about whatever's inside your box than if that little edge is sticking up a little bit, I think. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we'll just get those all out of the way. So now... And I do definitely like to use my Seal Plus on these edges. And we are going to do the outside. Let me show you what's going to happen, right? So we're going to put adhesive on each of these outsides of the tabs. We're going to then flip it up, and we're going to fold that in and that in. And then this and this. So you can kind of see there's your bottom of your box. And then same thing, we'll do these right here, and that'll be the top of our box, okay? So you want to do the outside adhesive on all of those tabs, okay? So, and I'm gonna use a good amount because I want my box to stay together, okay? So I'm gonna kind of do two runs on each, and if you go over the edge, just kind of smooth that back up there, okay? And I still love working on my little mat here. Silicone mat. Such a great little work surface, right? Okay, so I think it's easiest if you put the box down on the table and you want to kind of try to line up so that this is flush here. And what actually happens is when you cut these at an angle, you have to be a little bit more careful. When you don't cut them at an angle, basically that bottom touches down in there and it makes it a little bit easier. So it's kind of one of those, do you need help folding your box in? and keep them full. 
Anyway, it's really not that big of a deal. I always tend to make things a little more complicated than they need to be, I think, so I apologize for that. Okay, so there's that one. And, oh, and what I should have told you, because I feel like I did kind of learn this the hard way, is it's almost easier if you put the designer series paper on the top of your box before you do all this, but it's okay. So here's the top of our box. We are going to add, and where is the rest of my stuff? I guess I just grabbed everything. Let me give you dimensions of things here also. Actually, really the only thing you need a dimension of is this part right here. So this piece of designer series paper measures three and a quarter by three, and that's just gonna fit right on top of there, okay? And then everything else, they're basically just like scrap pieces to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? All right, so we'll scoot that guy out of the way. We'll bring this back into view so I remember what I'm doing. So I think we can do our die cutting and then we'll stamp right on our tag, okay? So let's actually move those over there. I'm gonna grab my die cutting and embossing machine again. Okay, and I'll show you what we're using on these. Okay, um, where are our guys? So we need, we have these cute little hearts. We're gonna use these from the Share Milkshake dies right there. Then we also are using, these are called the Tailor Made Tags dies. And we're gonna use the largest tag right here on our basic white cardstock. Oops. Put that one back in there. And then, because I love these things, the Give It a Whirl dies. So many cute hearts in here. If you don't have hearts in anything else, if you have this die set, you've got one, two, three, four hearts right in this one. Give It a Whirl. Such a cute one. Okay. And then we're just going to put that right there. Okay. So this can go up there and we are good to go. Oh, hoo hoo. Every once in a while, you hear that major crack, right? Okay, so these cute little hearts, so you can see it kind of comes on one die, but it actually makes three separate dies right there. And then we've got this cute little heart, and it actually, you can't really even see it, but you could use the negative image like this right here, and it's got little stitching on it. It's probably very hard to see. And all that beautiful sunlight, and then lastly, our little tag, which again has the stitching on there as well. Okay, Ooh, look at that, that was fancy, wasn't it? Snazzy move there. Okay, here we go, scooting this stuff out of the way. And we can finish putting our little box together. Okay, we are going to, let's actually put those right on there. Oh, so snazzy, and then they like stock, it's like static clean or something. Okay, so we've got our sweet sorbet ink. Again, we are going to this time. So you could do you could do celebrate, you could do be my Valentine, whatever you need it to be. And actually, you know what? I just realized I made the bigger tag. We're just gonna go with it, but I, I remember thinking, and you can kind of see here, right? The E is almost off the edge. And as I'm stamping that, I'm like, that fits on there way too easily. So anyway, this one's gonna have a little bit bigger tag. I guess I should have used this medium. That's why I usually put them in the back here so I know which one I really need because I grabbed the wrong one, but that's okay. So anyway, either one of those will work, right? Great set of tags though. Okay, so yes, it'll just be a little bit bigger on here, that's all. Okay, we're gonna add dimensional on the back of this little heart, we'll do one there and one there, okay. Got those. Alrighty, then we are going to just put some adhesive and we're gonna just pop these kind of on, on and around, right? So we're gonna put that one right there. This one, I'm actually gonna add a couple more dimensionals on the back of this guy. Not sure how far off the edge. So he's maybe gonna look a little big, but that's okay. Here we go. We'll just scoot him up a little bit more. There's that right there. So now I wonder, maybe I can put, 
Where do I want to do? I'm going to put that one there, but maybe I'll put this one right there instead. That'll kind of fill that space a little bit, right? Okay, so the other thing that happened was I apparently used all of my Real Red ribbon. This is also from that... <laughs> yes, oh yes, thank you, Philomena. I know, so easy, so, so easy. Okay, so this is the Real Red and Burlap Ribbon Combo Pack. So those two come together. Well, I've used all the Real Red ribbon from that. So that was all right. I just went with, this is some of the Real Red ribbon that was in our holiday catalog. It also had Garden Green ribbon in it too, carried over. So this one will work just as nicely. We are gonna just tie a bow. And this ribbon is actually so easy to work with too. This one's a little bit um, more satiny. So I say it's a little more slidey. This one um, is maybe more of a twill, so it's a little bit easier to work with, I think. But either one is gonna make very cute bows for this project, right? Okay, scissors, where'd they go? Right here, okay. So there's that and that. And then, of course, I had to have a little bit of bling. So we added a few. These are the opal rounds. I've got just a couple left. I just use, if you guys ever wonder in terms of storage, this is probably something that dyes came in originally. And I just slide them in and out. So if I have a couple packages, I just kind of keep them all together right in there. Okay, so I'm going to grab, we've got, these are, they come in like larger and smaller. So we're going to add one large there. I did a small one kind of on the corner of, oops, he's moving around that one right there. And then one more small, maybe right, should I put it right on the inside of that? There we go. Okay. So that is it, ladies. Cute little ideas for you, right? Valentine treat ideas. So we've got the little boxes right there. And the card right there. So look, isn't that so cute? Like a great little combo pack there. You've got a card. Be my Valentine. Life is sweeter with you, right? So, so, so cute. Okay, so quick reminder as always, or in case you're new to Facebook Live, if you put an online order in through me, I will send you today's projects. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use tear and tape on the adhesive parts. So I'll send it to you flat. Um, and then I'll put the tag and everything together. So you'll just have to tie the ribbon and, and peel the tear and tape off and put the box together, right? Because if I send it, um, you know, it'll probably get smushed, right? Okay, so you're going to get both of these projects. Your name is going to be entered into the drawing to win the best day stamp set. You also get to pick from the January Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the beautiful, the iridescent pastel gems. Plus, don't forget, if you bump your order up to $100, you get five free cards from me, and you also get your name in the drawing to win one of my Scenic Garden stamp sets. Same thing applies if you buy the starter kit, you get your name in the drawing to win one of these sets. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm glad you enjoyed these projects. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. I hope you have a great weekend. And actually, we're going to be back here two weeks from today, so I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day as well. And we'll see you that Friday after Valentine's Day. All right, thanks everybody. Bye!